Hello everybody and welcome back to the ICO channel. Today I want to show you this uh, our next generation device we're working on which is called the iCode Arcade Spinner Ultimate. Um, it is truly a, a really cool device. I really really enjoy this uh, device. You can see, um, let me zoom in for you, um, it's a uh, quite a nice device. It's got uh, two buttons here for the uh, access the two mouse buttons or gamepad buttons. Uh, you've got additional buttons here that you can uh, uh, use and then there's buttons on the right and the left side uh, which also operate and it's a uh, it feels really good to the to the hand um, and then it's got the right you know spinner here that's really nice and heavy so it uh, actually spins quite nicely and you can see when I spin it I let go it uh, it quite spins a little bit and uh, continuously so and it's got a really nice grip um, on the sides as you can see and um, and then this device has a really cool uh, new screen that we've added for you and the screen um, uh, can work through all the different settings so you can change the modes of the port to be for example the sensitivity of the mouse the acceleration of the um, uh, the mouse or the paddle or whatever uh, the, uh, unit you're using in the game. You can also switch between uh, modes. For for example, you can put it in gamepad mode, so it'll emulate a gamepad, an analog gamepad. You can control it uh, both the horizontal or the vertical axis, so that's going to be controlled. Um, but let me show you a quick demo, and we'll come back to the settings on how nice this is. I'm going to go ahead and um, show you an example here where we've got uh, uh, breakout loaded on an Atari 2600 and as you can see um, when I move uh, left and right um, it moves really nicely and it and I can control precision with very little movement um, or I can go left and right very quickly with high high level of accuracy I've never been able to do that with paddles uh, even in the original 2600. So this is an amazing uh, set of control. I've also mapped some of these buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press this button to start uh, the game. And then this is to serve the ball. And I'm going to show you guys quickly how nice uh, it is and how accurately you can play. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some of these tiles out of the way so we can uh, go to a little bit of higher speed mode. When they hit the oranges is when the high speed levels start. And uh, I'll show you that. Now I'm leaning kind of over so you can see the uh, device while I play on the game. So it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I think you'll get the gist of it here. All right, good. Oh, decided to turn. Almost had it. Let's see here. I'm going to get that. Okay, we'll keep going. There we go. Come on. Ooh, there we go. All right, so now I'm in high speed mode, and you can see. Ooh, uh, I a little talk too early. But as soon as I'm in high speed mode, I can still navigate very quickly from left and right. You can see here, I've um, got total control. And this was like almost impossible to do with paddles, or it was very difficult. You can see I can go left, right, and still control it. Wow, this is fabulous. So um, that's in gamepad mode. I'm using um, RetroArch here with Stella 2014. But um, let me go ahead and switch it, uh, try another game. I'm going to close this out. And uh, I'm going to uh, switch the device to... Uh, instead of gamepad mode to mouse mode. All right, I'm going to press this button. Now it's in mouse mode. Okay, so now if you can see when I move left and right, the mouse cursor is moving. So you can see that um, my mouse is now controlled. I can switch this to vertical or horizontal. I'm going to play Arkanoid, so I want it in horizontal mode. And I'm going to put it in a little bit more sensitive mode because in Arkanoid I like it quite sensitive. Right now sensitivity is set to high, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to very high. 
Um, here we go. Very high. All right. I think we're all set for Arkanoid. So let me go ahead and now uh, load um, the content. And I'm going to go to uh, my favorites here and run Arkanoid. Make the screen a little bit bigger for you. All right. Oops, press the wrong button. Close this out here. Okay. Five is to for coin, and and then one is to play. All right. Let's see how this uh, works out here. I'm gonna move the mouse a little bit to the top so I can't see it. All right. So now you can see I can move left and right very nicely. Again, um, very good control. I mean, if you've played this before. You know how hard it is to get the laser. And then, you know, the laser, I can also shoot with these buttons on the side, uh, which is nice. Let's do that again. All right, man, I got to get you. Ah, oh, too late. So you can see it's uh, quite uh, precision. Uh, great, I got into slow mode here. Triple balls. Now, if you remember, it was difficult to get multiple balls uh, with this. Okay, now I'm in laser mode. There you go. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think you guys get the idea um, how nice this is. And you can go left and right really quickly. And you can also change the acceleration. And that will even make the... Uh, that go even faster from left to right without uh, uh, changing the sensitivity too much, but acceleration and sensitivity is both controllable in this. So it's a fabulous uh, unit. And then as a bonus, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> We've added a um, testing game mode here. So let me kind of zoom in and show you. Um, I'm gonna zoom in on the camera here. All right, let me see if I can get this in focus a little bit for you. All right. Here we go. All right, so that's a little screen here. So I'm going to go into the menu system, and then I'm going to go left, up, and down, like I'm going to scroll here. And then uh, you can see all the settings. But I'm going to go down to, a, uh, it's got a built-in mini game called Bricks, and it's uh, off right now. So I'm going to put uh, Bricks Minigame, and I'm going to push the button to turn it on. There we go. And then I'm going to come out of the menu by pressing this black button. All right, so now you can see, um, as I move left and right, uh, the little mini game is uh, like a little mini breakout right on the little tiny screen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a shot here, see if we can play it a little bit together. All right, so there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so you can see it's keeping scores. It's got levels. And I have a high score of 88. I just uh, put it in. So here we go. All right, good, nice. Let's see, maybe we can finish level one together. And... Uh, Really nice and smooth. <laughs> this mini game is fun. Almost as good as, it is actually as good as the original. All right, we finished level one, now we're on level two. Press button. Let's give it a go. Oh, there we go. Pretty good. Man, doing pretty nicely. There we go. Maybe we can score a high score together here. The 88, come on, we can do it. Oh, I just missed this. I've got two balls left after this one. You can see the little two balls at the bottom right corner. Okay, I'm going to get right there. Yes, we got to 60 points now. We got to get to 88. Woo, that's really fast. Ah, couldn't get right there 71 all right come on maybe we can do it yes 80 
Oh, 82. All right, last. There we go. Yes, 87, 88. We tied it. 89. There we go. We got a high score <laughs> and game over. All right. So, um, yeah, so if you um, like this device, um, let me know. I mean, this is not available yet. Uh, we haven't mass produced it yet. We're still figuring out the final kinks, but it's pretty much um, highly usable already, and it's uh, almost good to go, so I don't think it's going to take long. Uh, we'll be putting up a page for pre-orders on iCode.com, but if you are, are interested, message me and give me your feedback, and I would love to see your comments um, on this, and uh, we'll try to incorporate them. Thank you very much.